Lesson 4 Capital Allowance Computations During this lesson I will show you how to access the Capital Allowance module within the PTP Tax, Partnership and Corporation Tax programs. I'll show you how to add a new period, how to add some assets and how that automatically completes the Capital Allowance sections of the self-employment pages of an individual's return. For corporate returns, the capital allowance module is accessed as part of the profit adjustment computation. If you double click to open a return, click to access page 2, click the fanned page icon to access the backing schedule for the profit adjustment. If you then scroll down the page, you'll see net CAs for the CT return period. Clicking the ellipse button takes you in to the capital allowance computation. The capital allowance module for the partnership return program is accessed through the partnership trade pages. If you double click to open the partnership return, select to view enter details for trade or source, select to view the schedule for the partnership trade, click view and there on page one you will see access to the capital allowance module. Within the tax return product the capital allowance module is accessed via the self-employment pages. So if I click to open an individual's return select the self-employment pages by clicking the fan page icon for question two. Click view to select the self-employment pages. You can see here that this particular self-employed person is a wedding caterer. If I click page 3 you can see the capital allowance section of the form and here I've got access to the capital allowance schedule. If I click to access the schedule you can see that I've got two periods set up already within the system. To add a new period for the current year I simply click the add button and this defaults to the following 12 month period from any pre-existing capital allowance periods that have been created in the software. If I click save, it will save that new period to the system and I can then select it to add any new acquisitions. Here I'm taken directly to my claim summary screen. I have tabs for pooled assets, non-pooled assets, and the assets tab itself where I'd enter the detail and build up my capital asset register. So today I'm going to show you how to add some new assets. To add a new asset, you select the type of asset from the drop down list. You'd also select whether it was a pooled or a non pooled asset. And when you've made that selection, you click the add asset button. So let's take a look. I'm going to start by adding some fixtures and fittings. Here, I've had a good year, so for this particular client, I'm going to click the Add Asset button and I'm going to add some new kitchen work services. I'm going to enter the date of purchase within this particular period, so I'm going to do that on the 1st of June 2011. My new work services cost me £5,600 and they qualify for AIA. I'm going to save that asset into the system and you can see here that it automatically works out the capital allowances going forwards and the amount claimed. Now I'm going to add a new fridge freezer. To enter the date of purchase again. 1st of July 11. My new fridge freezer cost me £3,400. I'm going to add in a final asset of a new oven. I purchased the oven in July 11 and it cost me £4,300. I'm then going to add a new car. I'm going to click the add asset button add in my new asset and I 
for a Ford S Max because I needed a large vehicle to deliver my catering. And I bought that in September 11 and it cost me £22,000. Now, as you'll know, if you're not claiming non business use, you must enter this type of asset as a pooled asset. But I did have a non business use of around 20%. So I'm going to update that asset. The system will automatically calculate AIA, first year allowance when appropriate, and the writing down allowance. But it is possible to tick and edit and override those rates. So I've added in my fixtures and fittings and my new car. And if I close down the system, you'll see that it automatically populates the capital allowance section of the form, taking away all of the pain of capital allowance computations.